Dexter's Laboratory is one of my all-time favorite cartoons. It's just that simple. Even when the show was at its worst, in my opinion, it managed to still be somewhat entertaining. Well, maybe not all the time. The series is known for its classic episodes. It's also home to one of the most notorious and iconic animation quotes of all time. Oh, say it again, Dexter. I'm that dude from Oz. The point I'm making is that the series is home to dozens of great episodes. But like most great shows, it's hard to pick out exactly which episode is actually the best. So, after doing some research, conducting some experiments, and climbing some mountains, I think I finally arrived at an answer. And it may or may not surprise you. In today's video, I will be going over what I think is the greatest Dexter's Laboratory episode of all time, Last But Not Beast. So before we get started with the recap itself, it's important that I address a few things. First, I should probably note that if we exclude Ego Trip, this was the original intended ending for Dexter's Laboratory, hence why it's called Last But Not Beast. As some of you may know, Dexter's Laboratory actually ended in 1998, or 1999 if you're including the movie. However, the series was brought back in 2001 for two more seasons and officially ended in 2003. Another thing to note is that this is actually the only episode of the series that's 22 minutes long. And it makes sense considering it was supposed to be the final episode of the show. And had it not come back in 2001, I honestly think this could have been one of the very best Cartoon Network finales of all time. But I'll get into why later. For now, let's get into the actual episode. The episode begins with Dexter's dad getting ready and leaving for work. As Dexter's mom says goodbye to him, the school bus pulls up to their house. She hurries upstairs to Dexter's room so she can quickly get him out of the house. Except that's not actually Dexter. His name is Toshi and he's a foreign exchange student. For whatever reason, Dexter's family decided to enroll him in a student exchange program. Which means that while Toshi is here in the US, Dexter is actually in Japan. While in Japan, Dexter notices two boys playing with some action figures outside of his new school. He introduces himself and mentions that he likes to build action figures himself. But instead of taking out a toy, he actually takes out one of the old robot models that we've seen him use in episodes like Dexter Dodgeball. What Dexter doesn't know is that these two kids are smart as well, and they both take out robot-like suits of their own. Dexter is a bit shocked by this, but ultimately doesn't let it phase him, because at the end of the day, he's Dexter, and building giant robots is kind of his thing. He summons the Robo Dexo 3000, which was first used in the episode Big Sister, when he needed to take down a giant sized deity. However, before things could get too out of control, Dexter's new teacher comes out of the school with a giant robot of her own. She scolds the boys and tells them to put their toys away before they're late for class. Quick side note, this is the coolest school ever if this is something that happens on a regular basis. Like seriously. After being scolded by the teacher, Dexter accidentally fires missiles from his robot and it begins to make its way to a volcano. Unfortunately, this causes a giant volcano monster to wake up from a really long deep sleep. The two kids and the teacher fly away and don't even attempt to help Dexter, which I always found to be pretty funny. Dexter heads back to America to come up with a plan to take down the monster. Now, this is where the episode gets really interesting. Agent Honeydew, along with Global Security, fight off the monster but end up failing. Honeydew tells the commander that her squadron failed, which leads him to call in reinforcements. And who are those reinforcements? The Justice Friends. They get an alert from the commander and assemble. Let me tell you, when I first saw this episode, I was absolutely losing my mind. Especially since, if my memory serves me correctly, this is their first appearance in Season 2, so it was really nice to see them back. This was like peak Cartoon Network for me. In a way, it was sort of like Avengers Endgame, except without a poorly written time travel plot. Seeing all of these characters unite in one episode was truly a treat. The Justice Friends end up getting defeated, which leads Agent Honeydew to summon our favorite crime-fighting monkey, who goes by the name of... well, you know. Meanwhile, Dexter arrives at his lab and catches Dee Dee playing around with the foreign exchange student. Dexter tells them what happened in Japan and decides that it's time to reveal his greatest invention. It's a giant robot that is so big, it needs four people to pilot it. Dexter realizes that in order for that to happen, he's going to have to show his parents the one thing that he's been hiding from them the entire time. His lab. 
Dexter calls his parents into his room and he comes clean about everything. Dexter's parents, although reluctant at first, decide to help. However, they told him that when they're done helping him, they'll have a long talk about the lab. This is another thing that I really like about this episode. If you want to have a finale for this show with some sort of weight or value, there are a few things that need to happen, and Dexter revealing his lab to his parents is definitely one of them. It just makes the most sense. Meanwhile, Monkey enters a fight and begins to take on the monster while Dexter and his family suit up and transform into Dexter's greatest invention. They launch out of the house and make their way to the battlefield. After arguing for a little bit, they get into formation and attack the monster, only to get knocked away easily. Toshi, back at the lab, is watching it all go down. He realizes that in order for all of this to work, they must truly come together as one instead of doing their own thing. Toshi gets out of his little bubble thing by using his superpowers, I guess? Toshi arrives at the battlefield and begins to lecture Dexter's family using some old story that's been passed down from generation to generation. They're moved by the story and agree to come together as a family and take on the monster. Dexter's dad throws an energy blast at him, Didi does some ballet stuff to dodge the monster, Dexter's mom spanks it, and then Dexter pulls out two swords. He uses it to cut the monster open, but the coolest thing is that instead of just slicing down the middle like most people would do, Dexter carves it so it makes a D to represent his name, which in my opinion might just be one of the coolest television moments in American history. It's right up there with the Ben 10 and Generator Rex crossover and the Tony Hawk episode of Zeke and Luther. Dexter's arch nemesis Mandark, who is the only missing piece from the finale, shows up to blast the monster and take all the credit for its death. However, instead of hurting the monster, it actually gives it more power. The new and improved monster charges at Dexter and his family. They're able to hold him, but not for very long. Just then, Monkey wakes up and rejoins the fight. He goes inside the robot and gives it a supercharge. This time, using a series of moves, Dexter and his family are successfully able to take down the monster in the coolest way possible. The family walks out of the robot and talk about what just happened. Monkey flies down and joins the conversation, only for his mask to fall down, revealing to Dexter that his pet monkey is actually the superhero known as Monkey. This is a shock to pretty much everyone, but to make matters worse, Dexter's parents remember a secret lab that he's been hiding from them the whole time. Thinking quickly, Dexter pulls a memory eraser out and wipes his parents' memory of the past few hours. Monkey, realizing the opportunity he has, follows suit and wipes Dexter's mind clean. The episode ends with Monkey, Mandark, and Dee Dee being the only ones to remember the events that just took place, with the final shot being Dee Dee waving at the audience. And honestly, although it's not your traditional last scene for a finale, I feel like it was a perfect way to end the show. The entire episode actually was a great way to recap and celebrate the series. I'm a big finale person, so I always want to make sure that the TV show that I'm watching has a proper send off. And this episode just about has everything that I look for in a final episode. Callbacks to earlier episodes? Check. Nearly every character in the show making some sort of appearance? Check. Concluding part of the story but still paving the way for potential adventures? Check. Think about it. If Dexter's parents actually remembered the lab, they probably wouldn't let Dexter keep it. And if they did, they would probably tell him not to do any dangerous experiments, which wouldn't make the show interesting. The writers of this episode cleverly gave us a taste of something that has been teased since the show's first episode while still allowing new adventures with the memory wipe. Same applied for the whole monkey reveal. Dexter's Laboratory was never a serious show, so therefore doesn't need a serious finale. It wouldn't make sense for the show to end like, I don't know, as told by Ginger or something, where it's revealed that the events of the series were actually just pages out of future Dexter's book. There's no need for that. Dexter's Lab can be summed up in three words. Simple, but epic. And what was this finale? Simple, but epic. It did everything a Dexter's Lab finale could possibly do. But, of course, none of this even matters because the show had a TV movie and two mediocre seasons after this, but hey, it'll always count as the finale in my heart. Also, real quick, I don't know if anyone has ever actually mentioned this before or not, but the Phineas and Ferb movie where to go to a different dimension is actually eerily similar to this episode. Like, let me show you some comparison clips. Superhero has been living with me this whole time in my secret laboratory. 
You're a secret agent? And you've been living with us this whole time? Was that evil guy right? Were we just a cover story to you? I mean, were you ever really our pet or part of our family? Dexter, we need to straighten a few things out with this secret laboratory business. <laughs> Honey, you, you look, look great! great. Major Monogram? Uh, yes? So none of us will remember any of today? That's right. Good. Mwah! Isabella! Hit it, Carl! Wait, wait, wait! I'm not saying they stole it. I'm just saying. I, I, I don't know what I'm saying, honestly. But if you liked the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I will be posting a new video soon. So be on the lookout for that and, and, and like and, and uh, see you guys in the next one. I'm Mr. Nostalgia and I'm out for now. Peace.